Wow, my mom and dad really outdone the place. Yep, but it's nice that we're spending Christmas and your birthday here. Yeah, and also Dakota, thanks for inviting me. I've never been to your parents' house before. Oh, it's no problem. But, jeez. I'm 21 years old now. I'm actually finally able to drink legally. This is also a great day because it's also Joanne's first Christmas with us. Yeah. <laughs> you excited, Joanne? Is that all your daughter can say? Well, obviously she's in a crowded room with people, so she's kind of shy. Plus, she's tired from acting on LPS pregnant story. Poor girl's exhausted. Isn't it also weird, though, because you're gonna be spending Christmas with your dad this year? Don't remind me. I'm dreaded of that. I mean, I know he's gotten better, but it's just really, really awkward. We were lucky enough to have him invited to our wedding, but George, I don't think is so thrilled with the whole bisexual thing and me and Dakota in a gay relationship. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Joanne, you can go in my old room so you can go take a nap, okay? But anyway, uh, let me introduce you to my family. Well, I already know one. Hi, Jody. Oh, hello, Jackson. And who's your friend? I recognize him. My name's Drake. I'm Dakota and Jackson's best friend. Oh, how lovely to meet you, dear. Anyway, Jackson and Drake, since you guys are new at the house, uh, this is Dakota's cousin, Dakota. They have the same name, except, uh, Dakota on my right here, uh, her, her name has an H at the end. Yeah, but you can just call me Coda, so, you know, we don't have to get confused. But it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Coda. Where's your daughter? Taking a nap upstairs. She woke up extremely early, so I had to put her to bed. Oh, you have a daughter? Yeah, her name's Gwen. I mean, she's only a few months old. I'd rather not talk about the rest. Oh, let's change the subject. Obviously, you know my sister and brother, and Ian. Uh, Drake, this is Wendy. Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> I finally got a proper introduction to your... stepmom? It's complicated, but yes. Yeah, like I said, this family's a whole mess. But yeah, this is Wendy, my stepmom. It's hard to say now because, well, technically... Um, since Henry is, you know, your dad's brother, and he did marry, uh, November's mom first. Technically she's your aunt, but then Henry married me, and... yeah. How about we try not to explain it? Right. Moving along... <laughs> Hello, Midget. Ah, uh, hey. Hey, Sid. Been a while. Yeah. Happy birthday, big brother. Thank you. Yeah, Sid was talking to me about... Uh, your mom, Dakota. Do you know if she's okay? Well, come to think of it, she hasn't been down here all day. Yeah, where's Aunt Danny? I think I can answer that. Personal space, Parker! Yeah, shut up. Hey, sorry. But, Danny, she hasn't been down here all day it's because, well, George is gonna be here. And you know those two were kind of having a... Trouble in paradise. I mean, come on, the girl's depressed. It's our first Christmas with her. Out of all the years that we haven't been seeing her, we finally get to spend Christmas, you know, together. And 
you know, it's a reminder for Danny that George kind of ruined her life because of what he did. That's true. Um, if me and Wesley can chime in, Dakota, why don't you go talk to her? I think that's the best idea you ever said, Miko. I'll be right back. Okay. Be back. <sighs> Mom? Oh, son. Happy birthday. Thank you. Um, are you okay? <sighs> I'm not. <sighs> what kind of mother am I getting depressed on her son's birthday? Hey, it's gonna be okay. It's just, it's the first Christmas we all spent together. And the many years that I've been apart from you and your siblings, it's been hard. And all I can think of is the, is the time that George took you. And to top it all off, he's gonna be coming here. And I have been hanging out with your dad a lot, but... <sighs> I don't know if it's a good idea to get back with him. Mom, if you love him, go with him. I thought you wouldn't approve after what happened. That's all in the past. I'm happy now. I have you. Dad's coming, which I'm nervous, but you know, he's coming. I have my siblings, I have my husband, I have my daughter. Maybe not the whole family's here, but majority of it is, and that's a good thing. Plus, I have a few of my friends here. You know, November has her boyfriend and Wesley has his girlfriend. Sid has her boyfriend. Kylie has hers. Plus my friend Drake's here, waiting to meet you. A lot of new faces. <laughs> and maybe a few future weddings coming your way. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot, huh? I'm gonna be getting a couple of grandkids soon, aren't I? And hey, you have one already. Yes, <laughs> how is Joanne? She's good, she's exhausted from acting. But, Mom, please, come join us. It wouldn't be a good birthday if you aren't in there socializing. I mean, hey, I'm supposed to be the one son that doesn't want to socialize with the family, but... <laughs> you're kind of stealing my job here. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Dakota. You're welcome, Mom. <laughs> I love you, son. Love you, too. Alright, let's head inside. It's freezing out here. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have these fancy light things. Instead, we had fireflies. Uh, Jody, you're not that old. Uh, said she's like 80 something. Excuse me? <laughs> I mean, you're not old at all. <laughs> mm hmm. Calling me old. Don't you ever call me old, you diagonal millennial. Wesley? Yes? You did not tell me that your grandmother is kind of, uh, scary. She can get aggressive, I forgot to tell you that. Uh-huh. Freaking calling me old. This is why Sidney is my favorite granddaughter. She's respectful. Um, I'm not your favorite? Oh dear! Kylie, don't get me wrong, I love you, but uh, you can kind of be a smart cookie. And I don't like nerds. But you know I'm proud of you, sweetie, getting all A's and all that. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. Um, move! Ow! Oh, Bull! I should be the favorite! I have the best style! I get it from you! Jody! You made a lot of nice dresses back in your day, and now you're saying that Sid's the favorite? You are my idol of high key amazing fashion! I get that from you! How are you saying that she's the favorite? I mean, have you seen the look of her boyfriend? He's not even that cute. You know, I'm right here. Don't listen to her, Charlie. She's just jealous, as usual. But you're very cute. Thank you, and you too. 
Opal, you are always trouble. I don't want to hear it. I appreciate that you, you know, look up to me when it comes to fashion. And I do say, back in my day, I was quite a fashion designer. But being smart and being fashionable can get you places. But it's the kindness that I'm looking for, and you two don't seem to have that. You got the brains, you got the style, but both of you competing for my love is just dreadful. Back in my day, you always had to be smart, fashionable, and kind. Not compete for my love. How do you think I married your grandfather? Speaking of, where is he? Ugh, that lazy old fool. Sleeping on a big event like this. Missing his grandson's birthday. You know what? I ought to go up to his room and beat him with a stick. You hear that, Bill? I'm coming for you. And I thought George and Danny had marriage issues. You can say that again, brother. We're back. Hey. Oh, hi, Danny. How are you today? I'm feeling much better, Jackson. Thank you. Okay, but anyway, uh, you guys, how come you're lined up like that? Preparing for Daddy's arrival. What does it look like? And you guys are out of order. Fix it. Good luck. Come on, Wes. Coming. Oh, God. This is kind of scary. It's almost like we're being interrogated. Well, Opal told me that the dad is a little on edge. Well, I mean... Me, Opal, Sid, and Parker, Wesley, and November are the only ones that have, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends, while Dakota is the only one out of all of us who has a boyfriend. And the fact that, you know, I don't know how George is going to feel with me and Jackson together. I mean, he seemed pretty upset at our wedding. And to top it all off, he has to meet Joanne! You better say your prayers. Yeah. Joanne, go stand with Jackson, okay? Good girl, right with me. Okay, everyone, George is gonna be here in... Right now. Oh, God. <sighs> Come in. Hello, Danny. <clears throat> Hello, George. Everyone's here. Today's your birthday, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, happy birthday. Parker. Hello, Kylie. Opal. How are you two? Good, Dad. Yep. Doing just fine. Lydia, are you ready? I'm scared, but I'm ready. <clears throat> Hi, Dad. Hey, Sidia. Um, you look beautiful. Thank you. Listen, I, I'm sorry about what happened when you turned 10 years old. I was out of the line and I kind of lost it there back then. How old are you now? I'm 17. I turn 18 next year. Mm-hmm. And uh, you with that boyfriend of yours? Yeah. Uh, Charlie, he's right behind me. I see him. Well, I hope you have a good Christmas, and, um, I'm sorry. I forgive you. I believe I haven't seen you two since you two were puppies. Yeah, 
Um, well, your brother kind of messed things up with us. And I apologize for what Henry did to you, Wesley, and lying about your mother. And November, I understand why you had to run away, but I'm sorry about what happened to you. Yeah, but how do you know what happened to us? Well, Parker told me all the details of what happened. So, yeah. But again, I'm sorry. This is gonna be awkward for me. <sighs> I, um, I'm just gonna get straight to the point that you know the reason why this family is so complicated because of you. If it wasn't for you seducing me back then, I would have stayed with Danny and not go through all this nonsense of me having awkward conversations with my kids, all because of you. In my defense, you could have said no, but of course, you did say no and I didn't listen, and I'm sorry. But please understand that I'm better now, and so are you. I agree, but from now on, Wendy, don't ever cause something like this ever again. Because you know what? I shouldn't be having all of this! All the awkward looks of scary George. I'm known as the bad guy. But that was because I drowned my sorrows into alcohol. And I shouldn't have done that! But this is the first Christmas that we're all spending together on my oldest son's birthday. Dakota, come here! Before I throw another fit, I'm sorry for what I did. Obviously, you have every right to blame Wendy and everything that's happened, but I should not be looked in the eyes, especially by you, to be feared. I was in rehab, and you want to know what I was thinking about while I was in rehab? How stupid I was for what I did to you and your siblings. I cheated on the one that I loved, and all for what? Nothing but awkwardness and complications, and I don't want that. I want this house to be happy. I want everybody to feel merry and happy and have a great Christmas and for you to have a great 21st birthday. All of you need to stop looking in the past at the old me and focus on the new me. Because I, George Lane Edwards, will not stand for it. And don't think I did not see Jackson and your daughter while I was walking past you. You have a beautiful family, and I want you to be the father that you should have had than how I failed you. Dad, I don't know what to say. I thought you were going to be upset. I'm more upset at myself for making a stupid decision by leaving Danny and you guys and taking you away from Danny and everything. I'm That's why I'm saying I'm sorry, and I'm trying to make this better now. Well, Dad, I, I forgive you. Don't we all? Of course. I mean, George, after you left, we kind of started missing you. And sweet girl, I miss you too. And speaking of sweet... Danny, as I stand in front of you with a heavy heart, and as this very, very sorry man, I want you to know that I love you, and I will never hurt you again, so please forgive me. George, of course I forgive you. You're standing up for yourself and owning up to your mistakes, just like you did back in the day. It's also the reason why I fell in love with you. Hey, lovebirds! Why don't you look up? <gasps> Mistletoe. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Danny. I love you too, George. <laughs> That's my girl! That's my girl! Alright, enough of this awkwardness. Let's celebrate, everybody, and have a great Christmas.
Honestly, this has been the best birthday I ever had. I know. <laughs> Very happy for you. Thanks, Jackson. Hey, look up. Oh! <laughs> Mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Joanne. <laughs> well, you guys seem occupied. I guess I'll do it. Hey, guys, it's Drake. I know, haven't seen me in a while. Thank you for watching this kind of Christmas special. Also, Dakota's birthday. My best friend is 21. <laughs> He's growing up. Jackson's birthday also passed as well. He's also 21, so happy belated birthday, Jackson. And of course, I will thank you guys for the birthday wishes. And we hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And I guess to end this, tell us in the comments what you want to have for Christmas. And I might as well say, what's your New Year's resolution? <coughs> Alright, that's Joanne's uh, little mew to tell us that we have to soon wrap this up. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We love you little marshmallows, as Teal would say, but, uh, since I'm here, <laughs> we love you little strikers. Um, if I was taking over the channel, it'd be, you guys would be my little unicorn. You're gonna call the fans unicorns, you're gonna say that our fans don't exist. Be quiet about my unicorn! Okay. I'm just kidding, but anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and, you know, tell your family that we said hi. Alright, let me shut up. <laughs> See you later, everyone, and thanks for watching. Bye! Bye!